Okay, so my question is, um, what should a person do if they don't know the ruling of something in a situation? So, for example, if I um, was in sujood, but uh, my toes weren't in the direction of the qibla, and then um, after I finish my prayer, I like search for an answer, but I cannot find an answer. What should I do in this situation if I don't know the ruling? Okay, first of all, a lot of the problems we encounter come from our lack of knowledge. And there is a video I was blessed by Allah Azza wa to uh, publish or post a couple of years ago about the description of the prayer of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. It's about an hour long. And in it, I explain how to perform the salat and what are the sunnah and what are mandatory and what are our are, are pillars of salat. If a person had knowledge, he would have known that directing your toes and fingers while in prostration to the qibla is a sunnah. So if I do this, my prayer is valid. If I do this, my prayer is valid because I was ordered to prostrate on seven limbs, the feet, the knees, the hands, and the forehead along with the nose. I was doing this, but yes, my toes were not totally in the direction of the Qibla, and most likely not all of them can be in the direction of the Qibla because of their difference of uh, um, uh, length and due to flexibility issues. So your prayer is 100% valid, but now most likely you will say that, but what will I do in other cases? If you don't have knowledge, you have to ask. If you don't have anyone to ask, you have to act upon your gut feeling because you have no other alternative. There is no other choice. So I have to make a decision right now. I can't call Sheikh Hassan. I can't go to Islam Q&A and find my answer. What to do? There's nobody of knowledge around me that I can ask. I have to improvise. I do whatever I can. And later on, when I ask and discover which is right and which is wrong, I can act accordingly, and Allah knows best. Nabil from Saudi.